Hello everybody, this is Merced here from Stronghold Games. And for today's video, we're going to be going over a Pokemon deck. It's going to be Lugia EX, uh, Tornado EX. And we're going to be going over just the basic structure of the deck. Um, and it, I mean, it's a pretty good deck. I've, I've been playing it for about two months now. And uh, we'll go ahead and go over all the mechanics. Alright, starting off, we have Lugia EX. Which is uh, overflow is his, his ability. If your opponent, uh, his Pokemon is knocked out by uh, damage done by Lugia, um, you get an extra prize card, and you run three in the deck. The other Pokemon that we have here is Tornado CX, which uh, his abilities are for two power. So he's got blow through, which is thirty plus. Uh, he also gets a plus 30 if you have a stadium card in play. His second ability is for three colorless power blasts. He does 100 damage and you flip a coin. If it's tails, you discard uh, an energy card, but it, uh, it runs three of them. The other beat stick in this deck is your Mewtwo EX, uh, which has uh, X Ball. For two colorless, he does 20 times uh, the number of energies attached to defending Pokemon. And his second ability is uh, Side Drive for two Psychic, one uh, colorless. In this deck, you would uh, you really don't run that ability because you don't have the energy for it. But it runs two of them. And last but not least, you have Reshiram, which is uh, Reshiram. His, uh, he's not an EX. It's your way. Uh, it's it's uh, the way in the deck to deal with Clink Clang, because Clink Clang has uh, weakness to fire. It's also a way to uh, uh, take care of Sigilith from oppo opposing players. As, as you know, Sigilith uh, doesn't take any uh, damage from any EXs, so this is a way to get around that. Uh, his uh, attacks are Outrage for two colorless. He does twenty. Plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on Reshiram. Uh, when he's usually out in the field and you're playing against Clink Clang, they're very hesitant about putting damage on him. He's a good way to stall so you can set up your Lugia. Uh, his other ability is for two uh, fire and one colorless. Uh, it's blue flame, it does 120 damage. And you discard two fire energies attached to this Pokemon. And you run two in the deck. Okay. Those are your, all your basic Pokemon. It roughly runs three, six, seven, eight, ten Pokemon. Okay. The supports for your Pokemon is uh, your Verbank City Gym. Uh, what Verbank City Gym does is uh, it puts two more counters on Poison Pokemon in between turns. So you run two of those. Okay. Um, of course, with that, along with that, you have the Hypnotoxic Laser, uh, which is what it does is your opponent's uh, active Pokemon is now poisoned, and you flip a coin of its heads, that Pokemon is asleep. So that helps with the poison plan because you are now doing, instead of 10 in between turns, you're doing 30 damage in between turns. And uh, as, as the turns go on, you know, that really adds up. Okay, and your other card is going to be your Hesperia. Uh, City Gem, which uh, each colorless Pokemon in play uh, has an extra 20 HP. This is very good for if you start out with Tornadus and a double color colorless. It helps you donk, um, you know, smaller Pokemon uh, because it gives you the plus 30 uh, that uh, the uh, Tornadus EX needs to do the 60 damage first turn. Okay, um, and that is your. Uh, Poison package. Your other is, of course, your Chorus engine, or I'm sorry, Chorus machine. And what that basically does is it help, lets you search out for a plasma energy and attach it to your Pokemon. Uh, you run four of those, of course, with Lugia, Lugia EX in play. Uh, if you have a double colorless and two Chorus in your hand, you pretty much get your first uh, 120 on the first turn as far as an attack. So it's a bonus. It's a quick way to soup up your attacks. Uh, the other, uh, another item that we use is the Ultra Ball. It helps you search out for whatever pieces, uh, whatever Pokemon you need to, uh, under whatever situation you may have that you need. You may use, uh, torn you may need Tornadus for the turn, uh, EX, or you may need Mewtwo, or even Reshiram against Clink Clang decks. 
Uh, the other card that we have in here is Eviolite. Eviolite does is it reduces attacks to uh, your Pokemon by 20. So it's a good way to, uh, you know, get your Pokemon uh, out there for longer periods of time. Uh, the next card we have here is Switch. Switch is very important because we have, as you know right now, you have a lot of poison, a lot of hypnotoxic uh, lasers and a lot of uh, very bad city gems. Uh, just about every deck is using it. So Switch helps you get out of those sleep or poison uh, conditions by retreating your Pokemon. Um, uh, the next item that we have here is your Pokemon Catchers. Helps you bring those Pokemon that you that they have on, on their bench. It helps you bring them into play so that you can knock them out, especially if they already have damage on them. Uh, the next item that we have here is a tool scrapper. It helps you uh, remove those uh, pesky eviolites that uh, Clink Clank tends to use um, to make them more resilient. It helps you do away with those. Um, and last but not least, you have your Colrus machine or your dousing machine, which is uh, uh, it, it's a, it's a, like the old item finders from way back when. Uh, it's really, really great in the late game. It helps you get those missing pieces that you need, uh, that you may need to either knock out a Pokemon or uh, get some kind of board position. Uh, really, really good card. I picked that over uh, your computer search. Of course, it's all preference, uh, depending on what you want. Our supporters um, for for this deck, of course, is uh, your Professor Juniper. Uh, it's basically, uh, of course, you discard your hand, you draw seven cards, you know, you want to run four of those, uh, just about in any deck. Um, and also we have your Skyla. Uh, what Skyla does, it lets you search your, uh, it's a supporter, but it lets you search your deck for any trainer card. And it just helps you get the missing pieces that you may need, either a Colors machine, uh, it could either get you uh, the Verbank City Gem, the Hypnotoxic Blazer, uh, if you need to uh, uh, capture their Pokemon. Uh, I mean, it, it, hel it helps with, you know, it's just a do-all tool. So, of course, you want to run your four uh, inside your, on your deck. Um, then you have your Sharon, which uh, Sharon draws you uh, three cards. Uh, it just helps you, you know, get some more fuel in your hand. And last but not least, it runs one Colrus. The purpose of her or him is to uh, basically uh, wait till the bench is full. The maximum you can get is 10 cards off this guy. On the average, you do get about five or six, uh, but he's really, really good for the late game. Um, and of course, energy-wise, you're gonna be running your, uh, your Plasma Energy. You run four of those for your Lugia. Um, EX and you also run your double colorless which is real good with Mewtwo, with Tornadus EX and with uh, Rishiram. Uh, again with Lugia if you have a double colorless and, and uh, two colorless machines uh, in your hand you could basically uh, get him active turn one which is ideal. That's how fast this deck is. Um, last but not least you run five fire energies they used to be uh, one fire energy and four blend uh, because we wanted the option for uh, Mewtwo uh, to have the side drive with, with, the, with the psychic energy. But um, as we found out, uh, there is a lot of clink clang out there right now. And Corbellion EX, well, he's very, very uh, good against uh, special energy. Uh, he's got that attack for one metal. He does 30 damage and he has you discard a special energy from a uh, defending Pokemon uh, with fire energy in place and if you have a rush around uh, he cannot use a second ability so that's why we went from the uh, blend energy to the uh, basic energy of fire okay and that pretty much sums it up uh, with today's deck which is Lugia EX slash Tornadus EX um, give the deck a try see what you think and we'll see you guys uh, next time.